All right, thanks Anthony for being on. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, first question is coming from Nick Krupke. Hey, Anthony, obviously last year was certainly odd in so many ways, and this year seems to be trending that same way. So what did you learn, just the experience in the bubble, and this will obviously even be different from that, but just how to stay on top of your mental game to stay into it when you can't go explore cities seemingly and can't go check out restaurants and it's like hotel and gym and back? Um, You know, I mean, usually I don't do anything during the season, like go out and explore stuff if I'm unless I'm like in – LA, I already go to like my favorite sneaker shop or something like that. But other than that, I'm pretty much locked in the hotel room, um, just, you know, just chilling around. So the bubble literally wasn't wasn't as hard as you know people make it out seem to be. Um, we're just more of you were just confined in one area. I think that was the toughest part to where even if you had the option to go somewhere, you couldn't. But um, you know, I think everybody was locked in there and they had no choice but to be locked in. So I think that's why you know a lot of people play well and. Um, you know, you've seen a lot of people break out in, in the bubble. Next question is coming from Aaron Ventress from the Oregonian. Hey, uh, Neil Elshay was asked if uh, or why he didn't go out and pursue a veteran point guard. He said, we already have a backup point guard as Anthony Simons. Uh, how do you see your role developing this year? What do you feel about the confidence everyone's showing into you? Uh, Dame said also that he, he had a lot of confidence in you as well. And do you see yourself more as a point guard or as a two guard or a combo guard? I, I think I can play both. Um, you know, my, you know, come growing up, my natural position was a two because I could score the ball so well. So I think, you know, eventually I can, I can grow into being a point guard, but my natural position right now is, you know, just a two guard being able to score. But, you know, it's definitely, I've been working on that this summer is, you know, trying to be a point guard and see different reason um, in different situations as a point guard. So um, that's something I'm trying to grow, grow into be. Next question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Ant, uh, there was a lot of talk this summer about people saying the team needed a backup point guard, and mm -hmm. that's kind of the position you've been at. I I'm curious, did that bother you at all? Were you, were you hearing that? And, and if so, did it give you motivation or bother you? Um, you know, I, I did see it a lot. Um, but, you know, it, it really didn't bother me that much because I knew the work I was putting in. Um, during the summer to, to improve in that area of my game. Um, and I think that's that's what, you know, I was focused on this summer, and I think that's what I got better at. So, um, you know, when I do get the opportunity to show what I can do, especially in training camp, and obviously when I do get minutes, um, you know, whenever I get minutes, I can show that as well. Next question is coming from A.J. McCord with Coin6 News. Hey, Anthony. So you touched on it a little bit, but – with hearing that noise of, you know, Portland maybe needs to go out and get a backup point guard, what what was that? What was your focus, I guess, this summer? What did your summer look like or off season? It was really two months in the fall, but what'd your what'd your off season look like? Uh, you know, I spent a lot of time in Santa Barbara working at P three. Um just just getting stronger and um, you know, different areas of my body. Also just working on different situational things of, you know, handling the ball, seeing different reads and pick and roll. Um, you know, passing angles I can make, um, obviously scoring as well. But I think, you know, being able to pass the ball and being, you know, a double double threat in, to passing and scoring, I think that helps me out as well on the scoring end. So, um, you know, just trying to take the pressure off my off myself from just trying to be a scorer every single time I come down the floor. Next question is coming from Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Ant, uh, what were your thoughts on the new additions and what are you looking forward to most about learning from the new guys? You know, obviously we got a lot of a lot more guys that can that can defend on the wing. Um, obviously we got Harry Giles that's you know very athletic and um, young guy that can that can move up and down the floor, pass the ball as well. So, you know, I'm excited to learn from them, especially like, you know, Cub on a defensive end, um, learning how he was able to, you know, become this elite defender and um, which ways the all the tricks and the trades of, you know, being a defender. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to learning from everybody. You know, it's like, of course, uh, Derek um, knows how to use athleticism really well. And that's something I've been trying to work on as well. So I want to learn that from him as well, too. Got another question coming from Aaron Fentress from the Oregonian. 
Hey, uh, Gary Trent made a huge jump last season. Damian talked a lot about it. He clearly had a breakout in, in the bubble. Is there anything you have been able to learn from his progress as a player that can maybe help you? Oh, uh, you know, definitely. I like like how how aggressive he is on the ball on defense. Um, that's something I didn't really do last year that I, I should have. I was more of a conservative, try to not foul, and I ended up, you know, getting a lot of fouls anyway. So I think, you know, being aggressive on the ball and uh, being aggressive, a, aggressive defender kind of helped him out a lot because, you know, they the refs knew that he was aggressive, so they wouldn't really call us many fouls as much. So I think, you know, learning that from him and him, you know, being confident in himself with shooting the ball going out there, no matter how many misses or makes, he's going to keep shooting the ball no matter what. So, um, you know, that shows how confident he is in himself. So um, there's a lot of things I can, you know, learn from, from Gary last year in the bubble. We've got another question coming from Dwight Jaynes with NBC Sports. Hey, Ant, um, a lot of guys here have seemed to really blossom in their third year. And, and I'm wondering, first, if you're aware of that. And number two, if that's the case, why would that be the case and why might it happen for you? You know, I think – I think um, in that third year, it's just um, a lot of guys get that, that get that opportunity here um, at the end. I, of course, you know, guys like Peck Hunting and Jake, you know, they didn't get to play the first two years and they finally got a chance in, in the third year and they was ready for it. And they was ready for their role and ready for whatever they needed to do to, to help the team out. So I think that's the biggest thing through, you know, you know, coming here is, you know, always being ready and being prepared to play. Um, and that's something I need to, you know, I'm going to be ready for this year is, you know, I kind of learned a lot last year from playing. Um, you know, most guys, most of the guys that come here don't really play in their second year. So, um, you know, just having that year of, of learning is going to help me out a lot um, coming in this year. Next question is coming from Aaron Ventures with the Oregonian. I'm back again. Hey, I've always viewed you as sort of being an interesting situation because you got drafted by a team that has two elite guards. So on one hand, you can learn a lot from CJ and Dame. On the other hand, had you gone to a team that needed a guard, actually, you could be playing a lot more. How do you sort of view that situation? Oh, uh, you know, it just honestly, you control what you can control. Um, you know, I love I've loved being here. I love being in Portland, learning from Dame and CJ. Um, they're the two, you know, our best backcourt in the league. So um, I think Learning from them, especially as a young guy coming out of high school, um, you know, I just want to soak in as much as I, much as I can um, and keep learning from them. And then when my opportunity comes to go out there and play, um, I'll be ready and, and being able to compete at a high level. Next question is coming from Orlando Sanchez with KGW TV. Oops, sorry, Orlando. There you How go. about now? Hey, Anthony. Um, Dame, Dame mentioned uh, some of the, the workouts that you guys got to do this, this summer off season, whatever it's been the last couple months. Um, what have those workouts been like with him and, and to see that he's got a lot of faith in you and, and believing in you. Can you just describe what, what those workouts are like and, and being able to really pick the brain of Damian Lillard and see how he operates? Yeah, the, the workouts go well. We, we work with the same trainer and, um, you know, we, we sometimes work out together at the same time. So, um, he just just seeing how hard he works and seeing the things he does, he always stops me and, and readjusts my you know my my shooting or how fast I'm going, go go faster, go harder. Um, so I think I think him being there and um, you know kind of coaching me up and teaching me everything helped me out a lot um, this summer. So um, you know it's just it's just different things he could teach me that I never knew. Um, so you know him being in my corner is always is always a blessing. And are you looking forward to uh, getting to? have a little mini dunk contest with Derek and, and, and see where your game is at as, as far as that goes. Yeah. We're going to see where I'm at. I don't, I don't know if I can, I mean, the tricks he can do is, is pretty crazy. I gotta, I gotta go out there and just try it. And, um, but you know, that's definitely going to be fun when the time comes. Save some for us, man. We want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it. All right. We'll uh, go ahead and wrap it up there. Thank you, Anthony. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all.